What's going on YouTube? Embo's back with another video for you guys, and today I'm going to be doing a quick Q&A. Uh, I just decided to upload this right now. Um, I, I don't know, it just crossed my mind. So uh, I'm just going to be answering questions from Twitter, and I'll let you guys know, obviously, my response here. Um, so the first question is, did you ever think you would be on Optic? Um, obviously, you know, I never thought I'd be on Optic, but uh, it, was a, I, it was the most... Out of everything in gaming, this is definitely the best thing that's happened. Um, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a part of such a great team. My teammates are amazing and a great organization. So, you know, I'm thankful for that. Um, next question. Oh, I know you guys hate when I say uh, um and oh and all that stuff. So I'll stop saying that stuff. Uh, the next question is, are you living at the house permanently? Um, I said um again, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to be here for a while. You know, we have Champs, Florida, everything coming up. So I'm not too sure of how it's going to work out. But it should be, you know, it's going to be for a while. I can tell you that. Um, next question is, does your girlfriend live near you? Yes, yeah, she does. She lives about 40 minutes away. I'm not too sure because I'm not from here. So uh, next question is from Nick. He said, what's your biggest drive to become a pro player? Well, the drive that I had before I was a pro player was, you know, just to grind the really just grind the game and get as much practice in as you can. Um, that is the biggest, like, drive to become a pro player. You know, you see, like, you look at other pro players or people who, not even, it doesn't even have to be a pro player, just someone who is, did what you were doing and it made it to a point where, you know, that you obviously noticed them as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to, I'm going to, like, keep refreshing the questions. So it's, like, new ones. I'm not going to go straight top to the bottom. So I'm just going to cycle through them. Uh, what is your expectation for COD Champs? Obviously, my expectation is to win it. Uh, there's no other explanation for that. I just want to win it, and I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. I'm sure that's what we're going to do. I'm confident that's what we're going to do. Uh, next question is, do I like teaming with Nate Shot? I love Nate Shot. He's like a really, I consider him a really good friend, you know. Like, it's just me and him up here now because Big T moved the setup downstairs. So, you know, we're always, like, kicking it, and, you know, we just get along really well, and I, I'm glad to have him as a teammate and a friend. I really enjoy it. Next question is, where are you from in New Jersey? I am from Bayonne, New Jersey. What pro... <laughs> I can't answer that question. Someone asked me what pro player I hate. I don't really want to start any drama. I just keep that to myself. You know, you can really tell... You'd be able to tell on Twitter if I really hated someone. Next question. I'm going to try to find a good one. Oh, this is what I actually want to explain. Why do you guys only make fun of Clay? You never make fun of Nate. All right. You guys, like... You guys have to understand, off stream, like we all make fun of each other. Like there's, we don't antagonize play. Like we all do it to each other. Like it's all for fun. We're not picking on one person or any of that. We don't hate each other, and none of that, all that stuff that you hear, it's all, all that kind of stuff is false. Just please don't believe in none of that. Uh, next question. I don't really want to, you know. Answer questions that get repetitive, like you guys always hear, and you already know the answers to. Next question is, what pushed you the most to play and improve day by day? Um, honestly, like when I was like, I would just sit back and like, really, honestly, if you if you don't have a goal, you're just wasting your time. Like, if you don't have a goal in gaming and you're just playing to play and hopefully get somewhere, it's like, you can get somewhere, but it's not gonna mean anything. You wanna have a goal, you wanna achieve something so you know you're not really wasting your time at all uh the next question is how do you like the optic house the optic house is really nice i um i'm loving the house you know me will uh big timer and navy you know we just hang out have fun do and we just watch movies get wendy's so oh, no we just do we just chill man it's, it's really fun make videos talk you know chill make jokes it's i really like it here actually um next question how has Optic impacted your life? That's actually a really good question. Um, Optic impacted my life by, you know, getting my name out there, or gaining more fans. Like, like, obviously, a lot of people knew me. So, like, a good amount of people in the com competitive community knew me, but not as much as, like, they do now. Like, there's so many people. Like, I have, like, so many supporters now. It's crazy. It's just, like, it's really overwhelming. And, I'm like, it's really paying off. I like how I just feel as though, like, it really like changed, 
changed me by knowing like I got such a great opportunity that I need to make something out of it. Like I can't let it go to waste. We need to win Kai Champs. I need to like keep supplying you guys with content, streaming every day, and it just gave me an extra drive as well. Uh, because I never thought I'd be a part of an organization like this, you know. Um, next question is. I don't, like, I hate when, like, that's the thing. Like, people ask me the same exact question, so that's why it's kind of hard. Like, a lot of people tweet me in a row with the same exact question, but uh, someone just asked me because I tweeted uh, a few minutes ago that I went out to eat with Nate and Emily and her daughter, and they asked me, how was the steak? The steak was good, man. Um, The next question is, I don't really want to predict anything in, like, top eight or anything. I don't really want to offend teams. I just uh, don't want to get involved in that. All right. Is uh, scuff that much beneficial? Uh, yes, the scuff is that much beneficial because if you think about it, the way you hold the controller, uh, like you hold the controller like this, so you're holding it. You can hit the paddle. So by the time you're moving from the analog stick here, I'm already. All I have to do is just click the button. My hands are ready on it. I just hit it while you're moving. You know, it's it, it's re like it's your reaction it's way quicker. There, um, I promise you, a scuff will get you better. It made me 20 times better, 100 percent. I can't deny that. So I recommend a scuff. You can use my code EMBOS if you want a scuff. Five percent off. Scuffgaming.com. Amazing product, and I recommend it. So the next question is, how to become pro? Any tips? All right. I want to become pro. The first tip I always give everyone is start out on GameBattles.com. One hundred percent best website to get your practicing with your friends, teammates, whoever you want to team with. That's the start. That's the site to start off from. You build from there. You meet new people. You know you. People notice you, and you just branch from there. You know, start a YouTube stream, uh, reach out to people as well. Like it all, it's effort. You just gotta have a lot of effort, and make sure you keep grinding. How do your parents feel about your whole gaming career? All right. So at first, like they, I played for fun. Then I started really getting into it, like putting other uh, aspects in life, like aspects as in little things, not big things. So, like, I was putting things to the side for gaming. You know, at first, they were, like, kind of viewing it as me wasting my time. Like, they'd be like, why are you, like, go outside, or what are you doing? Like, you're you're going to choose this over this. Why are you up so late? What are you doing up? Like, and I feel as though, like, I actually changed their mind as it started paying off down the road. Like, me winning, actually bringing money, like, winning money, all this crazy stuff. You know, so many other things have happened since that time that I'm pretty sure I changed your mind. Sorry, I apologize. And my mom is definitely supportive. My dad, uh, he, he doesn't really talk about it as much, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he feels as though, like, it's paying off so far. Um, next question. See, like, literally, I wish you guys can see my screen. It's so many of the same questions. Uh, next question. Favorite card of all time? Um... I would have to go with this one or Black Ops 2. Both, ama both amazing games, for sure. Another good question is, how do your friends uh, outside of gaming feel about your gaming? Well, actually, only a select few know about what I actually do. You know, they follow me on Twitter and stuff, but uh, they support it, like, because they've... There's other people that they know that, like, notice me, so they told them about it, like, yo, whatever, whatever, and, like, they seem like it's paying off, like they see, oh, they always see my followers, and they're like, whoa, and all this kind of crazy stuff, so, you know, they're supportive of it, and they don't judge me or anything like that, we're all cool, nothing's changed, and, uh, yeah, they actually like it, and that's the thing where, like, you, you ha gotta have supportive people around, supportive people around you 100%. The next question is, when did you start playing COD and when? How did you start playing COD and when? Alright, so what happened was, it was around 6th grade, uh, I didn't have, I had an Xbox, but I didn't really play online or anything. My friend actually, uh, I got a PS3, but I didn't play online, like I said. My friend got me a router. He literally brought it to my house, got me a router, hooked up online. We started playing Call of Duty 4, and from then, I j it just skyrocketed. That's all I did was play Call of Duty forever. Um, next question is, what do you think won the argument between me and Clay? I definitely won that argument. Uh, how do you guys think you would do at the upcoming events and what's your guys' weakest game type? Uh, I, I'm obviously, I have faith in my team, so I'm saying we're going to win the events. 
but our weakest game type is definitely S and D for some reason. We just got to figure it out. You know, every team has things to work on. Even like, even though COL wins, like they, I feel as though they still have uh things to work on. And I'm pretty sure they they will agree with me. Like, even though you win, you always have those weak things that you definitely need to work on. So the next question is my favorite gun, um, definitely the MTAR. One hundred, no doubt, definitely the MTAR. All right, what is your history in competitive gaming? Uh, I'm just gonna, it's gonna, it, it'll be a little bit if I actually explain it, but I'll like sum it up for you guys. So, started pubs, went over to GB. wasn't, you know, I was just playing GBs. I would go like 22 and 0 team ladder, like crazy stuff like that. Then it started building up for there. I started getting into variant. I played with Spacely. You know, he introduced me to more people. Uh, you know, I got on his team, and then from there I got on Icons. From there I got on Obey. And everything just started rising, and then I met obviously met more new, more pros, uh, and everything went from there. And you know, and now you guys are watching this video, so you know it's paid off. And I'm I can't thank you guys more. Like you guys are amazing. Supporters are amazing. Uh, how did you get so far in your gaming career? I say without giving up. That's the main thing. You can't give up. You gotta have a drive. Like I said, a goal. You give up, it's just gonna go to a waste. And like. Honestly, if you give up on this, you're going to give up on anything because it's probably one of the, the easier things in life to do. Definitely compared to some other things, this is probably one of the easier, easier things. But don't give up, man. Make everything pay off. Even if you lose, it, it's it, you just got to bounce back from it. Like, you can never let things affect you. Uh, next question. Uh, what's in, something interesting about Optic Nate Shot that you didn't know since you moved in? Um, I say like how like how he is like Matt would just Matt is just like you know I'm just gonna put this plate on the floor I'm just gonna put this can behind the TV like stuff like that he's just like you know like flamboyant about things he'll just put this over there and like screw it I'll just leave it there just like little things like that I don't know it's weird I I can't really explain it you guys probably think I'm like crazy right now but yeah uh next question oh actually. I know a good answer to that question. Uh, I didn't know Matt like listens to rap like how he does. It's pretty cool. Like I, I view him as like, like I viewed him as like a guy that listened to music, but not like that. Like you know, just messed around. But I, he actually has a good taste in music. Matt knows how to bump them beats to whiz. Have I ever broken a bone? Uh, yes, I broke my arm. I actually, felt like off a of four foot. I was picking up newspapers in a bag like when I was little. And they were in their bag, and I picked up two of them, and they were too heavy, so they brought me back down, and I fell, broke my arm. It was like actually a four-foot uh, fall. It was actually a pretty deep, uh, deep fall. Broke my arm. I remember. I remember that I was in like second grade. It wasn't, you know, nothing big. I, my arm wasn't actually broken that bad. That's the crazy part about it. Uh, it just, it was just fractured. I'm pretty sure, but it was also, it was basically broken. All right. Next question. I'm gonna do about I say about five more questions. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm trying to like go through them. How was life at the Optic House? That's a good one. Uh, you know, we just hang out. Like I said, uh, we you know we stream, give you guys content, uh, hang out with each other, watch movies. You know, we'll go out to eat. It's just like it's. I don't like for some reason people view it as like some other world. No, it's just like a normal thing. You know, wake up, do normal human stuff. Like uh, we're just friends living in a house. It's and it's like different, obviously, but uh, it, I really like it, and it's something I want all you guys to experience for sure. Next question is: When are we going to get more of a personal glimpse of who Marcus is? Uh, I don't know. Will you ask me questions? I'll do more Q and A's. You know, guys, give me feedback. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting to know who I am now. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and you want more, just leave a comment down below, and I'll respond to you guys, obviously. I'll answer two more questions, and you know I'll wrap up the video and stuff. Best tips for young players to trying to improve and get better. Um, you know, like I said, honestly, a good advice is definitely starting off with your friends, and if if you want to go somewhere with them, you know, stick with them. But I branched off and became my own per like my own person, and wanted to do my own thing. It, it, I felt as though it benefited me, but you know, for tips for young players. You can always, I feel as though, like, with young players, you know, 
their mind, they get corrupted really quick. Like, they would give up quicker than I would or, like, someone else older would. But you guys need to realize that there's so many things that are going to go wrong if you want to become a professional gamer that you need to just put it aside and forget about it. Like, young players don't really know how to take a loss here and there. You know what I mean? So you just need to... It's hard, like, because I do the same thing. Like, I still do the same thing. The advice I'm giving you is stuff that I do as well. Like, I'm, I still get upset after a loss. You know, I let it affect me in games sometimes. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. But little things like that, you just need to push them aside and just focus on the goal and winning and stuff like that. Um, it, it, This is actually this is going to be the last question, but this is definitely a good question. Ad Optic Nation Shot receives plenty of hate. Can you explain to his fans and what he does to contribute and why he's essential? All right. Uh, well, I'll explain to my point of view. Like, obviously, Matt receives a lot more hate than all of us because obviously, you know, he's Nate Shot. He has a pretty big following and all that stuff. Um, but when I receive hate, you know, I just honestly block it off. I don't even listen to the people who hate. Is because the people that hate are honestly like, I can't even explain them. Like, they don't even know you, and they they literally hate you for no reason. I'm just like, whoa, like, how can you judge me and you don't even know me? Like. Stuff that I say on stream, I'm usually joking around. You know, I'm a, I always joke around. Everyone knows. If you watch my videos and you watch the stream, you know I always mess around. Um, but there's no reason to hate someone unless you genuinely know me and you like, you just don't like the kind of person I am. And I gotta respect your opinion and how you feel. You know what I mean? So, haters like online, I just don't bother them. Let them hate and just let them keep watching and judge you for no reason. You don't even, they don't even know you. You don't know them. I actually answer one more question. I know, I said I was going to wrap it up, but what are your favorite parts about being in Optic Gaming, and what what don't you like about it? All right, Optic Gaming, lo love the fans, you know, always get amazing feedback, they're always trying to help me, they always got my back no matter what, um, I break, it, it's honestly humble, it humbles me more, I feel as though, like, now that, you know, I have a lot of people backing me up, I feel as though I can just be me and just chill and let people actually understand who I am, uh, another thing is, I, I say the main thing is I love about it is just the fans. Like, you guys are nuts. And it, it, honestly, I love you guys. And it's crazy how much support Optic Gaming gets. But the things I don't like about being it, in it, and I feel as though everyone should know this. All right. So what I don't like about being in Optic Gaming, not don't like, but just get annoyed. I wouldn't say I don't like. So let's say if, all right, people, like say I join a game, like a match. There'll be some guy that notices me, but won't say anything, but literally follow me around and shoot my body and just, like, mess with me. It annoys me so much. You guys don't understand. Or, like, people, like, I'll join a game, like, if people notice me, like, I'll be, like, well, I'll talk, and then they'll just, like, I don't know. It's just little, like, they're not bad things, but little things. Like, how people, like, they'll, like, talk to me, like, we'll be talking, and they'll act like, oh, my God, wait, am I talking to Ambos? Like. They know, like, they just don't want to, like, approach me in some weird way. Like, if, I, I want everyone to approach me the same. Like, if you're going to, like, react like crazy, I love it. You know, you guys are amazing fans. But, like, I hate when people, like, notice me, but then, like, play it off. Like, that's so annoying. You guys don't understand. But another thing is, like, obviously I hate the hate, but haters are going to hate. What can you do about it? Uh, it really annoys me, like, about all the trolls. I'm not going to lie. It gets to me. It annoys me. But I, it, I don't really let it get to me. But it's, like. You know what? What was this kid hating for? You're getting blocked. You're getting banned out of my chat. Like little things like that. Uh, that's the only really things I hate. It's not. It's not bad, but I love being an optic game. It's like the best thing ever. The fans are amazing. Um, like I, I, I'm hum like I'm humble. Like I lost for words of how much things change and how much you guys are amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to upload it, and I'll, I'll be live streaming later tomorrow. Um, dubs with Nate Shot probably early in the morning as well. Uh, team scrims, tournaments, everything, GBs. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, uh, like it if you have. Subscribe if you want. And love you all. Until next time. Peace.